Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayer for October the 30th, 2020. I'm Pastor Steve Woodfin from Our Shepherd Lutheran Church in Birmingham, Michigan. OurShepherd.net is the way to find us. This weekend we have worship, Saturday at 6 p.m., Sunday at 8.30 and 11 a.m., a Bible study a hour, a half hour that's online at 10 o'clock. And you can attend those services online on our website or Facebook or YouTube. You can also attend in person as well, very safely, as a matter of fact. Uh, you can also receive Holy Communion uh, in a special uh, small group setting after the worship service at 1215. Well, tonight's going to be a little bit different. Um, tomorrow's Halloween. It's All Hallows' Eve. And the next day is All Saints' Day, which we will observe and celebrate throughout the weekend at Our Shepherd, a time when we ring a bell for those faithful departed, our brothers and sisters in Christ who have gone ahead of us to be with the Lord. And so tonight, uh, very little talking from me, all the talking from God in his word, the words of sure and certain hope of our salvation and the place that our loved ones occupy right now because of what Christ has done for us. My mom who died on December 1st, 2016, she's with the Lord. My uncle Al Craning, who passed away this year, June 17th, he is with the Lord. And all the other saints that have gone on before, and all your loved ones as well, we have that sure and certain hope that God speaks to us tonight in his word. And so we begin, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. From John chapter 11. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Martha said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, he who is coming into the world. From 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so... We will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage and comfort one another with these words. And from Psalm 116, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for the sure and certain hope that we have through Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life. Heavenly Father, comfort all those who've lost loved ones recently and all those, Lord, who miss their friends, their relatives, their spouses, their children. Lord, all the people that we hold so precious in this life, we thank and praise you that you consider them even more precious and that they are safely held in your waiting arms until the day when we are all reunited. And so, Lord, we pray for comfort and peace in this time of waiting. And we pray, Lord, that Jesus Christ would come and come quickly. In the name of the one who saves us, Jesus Christ. Amen. And finally, the words of a hymn, the quintessential All Saints Day hymn for all the saints. Verse 8, uh, a hymn that never fails to bring tears to my eyes, especially when it's sung uh, on All Saints Day. 
From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl, streams in the countless host, singing to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord, bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. Lord, look upon you with favor and give you his peace now and forever. Amen.